Hi, I'm here in my bedroom and I wanted to tell you something that happened this morning. Uh, I just got out of the shower. I had my bathrobe on, I had my hair up in a towel, and then I looked out this window and I saw there's a little bird on the tree right there and it was on the branch and it started bobbing its head up and down just like that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Kept on doing it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that can't be just like, you know, random activity. It's actually, it's actually playing after like four or five times. I couldn't deny that this was purposeful. And I thought, wow, of all the things that this little bird could be doing, it could be like you know, hunting for food or trying to find a mate or building a nest. No, it was taking the time out of its day, out of survival to just like be like this little birdie pogo stick on a branch. And so it's got me started to think and remember about this book by Stuart Brown about play how important play is. Um, and a lot of times when we think about play, we think about kids and we think, oh gosh, you know, play is kids work and all of this stuff. But I don't think about, don't want to think about kids right now. I actually want you to think about you. Um, we're going to put the kids to the side because play is important for us as people, kind of our humanity. And here's what a little bit of the research talks about. If you're having a hard time justifying for yourself, playing more in your life, uh, what Stuart Brown talks about is that play is intensely pleasurable. It energizes us and enlivens us. It renews our natural sense of optimism, opens us up to new possibilities. It has evolved in many animal species to promote survival. So that's good. In higher animals, it fosters empathy. We like that. And it lies at the core of creativity and innovation. He talks about how humans are the biggest players of all. Um, but then at some point kind of in our development, as we become adults, we get this idea that we should be like really serious and we should only do things that are productive and that make us money. And we're made to even kind of feel guilty if we play. And yet, um, Stuart makes the argument in this book that if we engage in play, we don't have to play all the time, but that it can be a catalyst for these other things in life that we care about being a better parent, being a better partner, being a better worker, a better person, that using play in small amounts can help us in all these other areas. So what I want you to do is to put in the comment section below what you do for play, something that's not to make any money, not to be productive, not necessarily to learn anything. What is something that you do just for fun, just because it feels good. And I will read and respond to each comment. Thank you. Have a great week.